Hey, in today's video I'm going to explain what the difference between VAC, Untrusted and Overwatch bans are. So the first thing you need to know is that there are three different ways you can get permanently banned for cheating. These are as I mentioned before, VAC bans, Untrusted bans and of course Overwatch bans. The first one I'm going to cover is VAC bans. I think most people are aware of what VAC is, but I'll cover it quick and short anyway. VAC bans will show up on your profile and will look like this. You get VAC bans if the client cited VAC anti-cheat detects that you are cheating in their game. That means that you can still get VAC banned even if you don't join a VAC secured server. I won't go into detail on how it detects that you are cheating in their game because I don't find it relevant in this video. Just know that VAC bans you get from getting detected by their client sided VAC anti-cheat. Ok so let's jump over to what an untrusted ban is. Untrusted bans will show up like this on someone's profile. It will just simply say that they've gotten a game ban. People get untrusted bans by the server-sided anti-sheet. The server-sided anti-sheet can detect different features than the VAC client anti-sheet can do. You usually get untrusted ban because the server-sided anti-cheat has detected abnormal or unhuman behavior. Raid sheets are usually the cause of this, although there are of course other features of a sheet that can get you untrusted banned as well. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is Overwatch bans. These show up just like Untrusted bans do. It will say that you are game banned on your profile. So when someone looks at your profile, there's no way of knowing which way you got banned for. However, if you own the profile, you can check what you got banned for. Because when you're on Trusted Band, it will show up like this on the main menu when you boot up the game. And when you boot up the game with an Overwatch ban, it will show up like this. It's pretty obvious how you can get an Overwatch ban, it's of course by getting banned through the Overwatch system. That was pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video, and now you know a little more to go up against those filthy hackers. Feel free to come with ideas on what I should upload next. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.